So I've parked up at a beautiful spot right on the edge of a Scottish lock. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's calm, it's still, and it's peaceful, apart from the lapping of the waves on the shore. But all this could end because at about midnight onwards, there's forecast to be significant snowfall in the area. And that is why I'm here, and that's what I'm looking forward to tomorrow. A day of photography in the snow. Fingers crossed anyway. My track record with weather forecast has never been that great. So I'm gonna go into the van, cook some tea, and get settled in for the evening. So after all of the um, encouraging comments that I received on last week's video when I opted against doing a cooking montage, I thought I'd give it a go. So thanks guys, thank you so much for encouraging me to be creative and really share my culinary skills. Here we have Heinz vegetable soup with a ham, cheese and crisp sandwich. And that is, oh, that is delicious. Oh. Mm. And dip the sandwich in the soup, it's just magic. And real camping food. Mm -mm -mm. So, before I clear up my mess, I just thought I'd go over tomorrow's plan. Now, I am very, very much banking everything. This entire video, all my photography, and this is a mistake I tell people not to make. But uh, the mistake I am making is pretty much... Um, sticking with a vision in my head of heavy snowfall. It's, it may not happen, uh, but if it does happen, my plan is to pretty much stick close to the road. Now, this van's okay in snow. I've got snow tyres on. It's not too bad, but it's not great. There is a history of it being stuck, although there was no tyres, no snow tyres on it in, on that occasion when it did get stuck. <laughs> Whoa, 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 how did that not hit? How did that not hit? Just... But I decided to stick close to the road because I know for a fact that this main road that comes all the way down to this lock, all the way back up to the motorway or the A9, sort of 20 miles away, I know that that is ploughed. They will keep that road open. And there are so many opportunities just off the road. And that's kind of my plan. Heavy snowfall, drive down the road and try and grasp those opportunities. So fingers crossed we'll get heavy snowfall and some fantastic photography. But for now, I'm going to enjoy my culinary delight in the Michelin star van. <laughs> So, that's pretty much me settled in for the evening. I'm gonna have a good night's sleep and keep my fingers crossed for that elusive snowfall. And if we do get it, it'll be the first real snow that I've seen in the UK this year, or this winter. It's been pretty disappointing. Right, I'll see you all in the morning.
Well, for once, the weather forecast is spot on. And this is just fantastic. And I'm being true to my word and staying close to this road because this is the only road in the entire area that's regularly plowed. So, uh, yeah, wow. Wow. <laughs> it's the first snow in the UK that I've seen for quite some time. Fantastic, fantastic. Ugh. Right, oh, get my camera. So the van's got snow tyres on and it can handle uh, a bit of snow, especially when it's dry snow um, and it's not too much of a problem, but this snow is very, very wet, uh, very thick, heavy, wet snow, which is difficult to drive in. I would love a four-wheel drive van and be able to go and explore further, but my, my van won't make it, so I've got to stick to the main road. And that is the challenge I face today. So my first composition is just roadside. I apologise if there's any wind noise. It's just roadside and it's, uh, oh man, the difficulty I'm having is finding somewhere to safely pull over and then somewhere that's accessible and not fenced off and private. The composition I'm shooting now is, uh, it's, it's in this open area that's just forestry commission land, it's been felled, um, it's completely open, but there are a few trees still standing and those trees, they look quite nice. Um, it's not the best shot in the world, but it's definitely quite attractive and worth shooting. And I really just want to get the first image in the can and then I can relax a bit more. I, I have this sort of ongoing fear that this snow is going to stop or turn to rain, even though it's forecast to be like this all day. I just want to get the first image in the can and then we can relax and move on. I don't think it's the greatest image, but I do think it's worth shooting. So I'm not going to waste too much time on the video. Nice couple of trees, nice group of trees, nice bit of side snow splattered on the trees. Atmospheric, looks a bit like a pencil drawing. Focus on the trees, and the most important thing I'm doing is controlling my shutter speed. I'm at F8, which gives me a shutter speed of 100th of a second. The reason that's important is because this snow is quite heavy, it's quite fast moving, and it really affects the aesthetics of the image depending on whether you freeze the snow or you blur the snow completely. Hundredth of a second gives it a nice soft blur. So F8, one hundredth of a second, two second timer. And there we go, that is the first less than average image from the day, but you know, it's nice to get one in the can. Come on, baby. Come on. Up the hill. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. Yes. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. There we go. So, not the usual type of photography that I practiced, but I did say roadside. 
I did say roadside. God, I hope no one's coming. So, uh, the problem with these roads, there's nowhere to pull over. Nowhere to pull over. Man, it's a crazy image, like, super abstract, almost too abstract. I think the snow is too heavy. Manual focus, because it'll never focus through the snow. And we have a herd of sheep. <laughs> we have a herd of sheep grazing a field against a very dark background, heavy snowfall, and there's one tree in the dark background that kind of stands out. This is incredibly abstract. Dare I say too abstract? I'll do, not the most sensible way to shoot landscape photography. Everything's <laughs> steaming up and wet. I wouldn't recommend stopping in the middle of a relatively busy road, especially a, a single track road, more or less. Um, but that image, it really caught my eye as, as I was driving past. It was incredibly abstract and I knew frustratingly that I wouldn't be able to stop and photograph it properly because there's nowhere for, for miles to pull over. So sometimes, you know, you've got to ditch the tripod and uh, go handheld, fully automatic. There are no boundaries. <laughs> there are no boundaries to landscape photography. Ah, just fun. Fun and creativity. Shortly after taking that questionable image, another roadside opportunity opened up. However, with the pressure of approaching vehicles and my fogged up lenses, I did not film the quick opportunistic snap. A lone tree stood in an empty field, but the background was messy, and in a moment of experimentation, and with no faith that my efforts would result in a nice image, I chose to focus on the falling snow rather than the tree. And much to my surprise, the resulting image is my favourite from the entire trip to Scotland. Well, unfortunately, this is uh, fairly typical of winter in the UK, and it's a great shame, but uh, when we get snowfall in the UK, it doesn't tend to last very long, you know, it's maybe once every 10 or 12 years we get a snowfall that really sticks around, um, but for the most part, what happens is what we've seen today, we had fantastic snowfall this morning, and then in the space of about an hour, that snowfall turned to heavy sleet. The temperature raised. I mean, it never really dropped below zero, but it, it kind of temperature rose and in an instant, <laughs> and the snow melted. And that's because of the wind and the rain uh, or the sleet. So yeah, um, I've got to say, I've gone, I've probably, you know, today's photography has been a huge roller coaster ride for me. It's been one of excitement and anticipation when I woke up this morning to one of great disappointment. Problem is with where, I, where I've been, is it's all fenced off private land, so it's very difficult to park up and explore and, and find anything. So um, maybe my game plan today was wrong. But I've still had a great time. Um, I'm just disappointed I didn't get that killer winter image that I was hoping for. So, uh, wow, I think I'm gonna end the video here. What a shame, what a shame, but I'm sure there'll be more adventures to come, so I don't feel too bad. Um, so yeah, long drive home, and uh, yeah, well, there's a cold spell coming, so maybe there'll be more opportunities. But for now, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you for watching, and until next time,
Bye for now.